I've never been good at accepting help. But I've needed help on occasions. Um, and the times that I've had to ask for help are probably to do with finances. When business has gone down and um, the banks have moved in and I've had normally these this is this is not a, a an occasion that is infrequent I've always had to juggle money around Rob Peter to pay Paul because of the nature of the way things are but I've managed most of the time um, but when I have when I've depleted all my resources I've had to ask for help and I just hate 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 asking for help I just don't like it one of the dangers of being a father is thinking that every source of help always comes from you and I think this is um, a trap that lots of fathers fall into and um, are, are, are very um, are very susceptible to pride purely because we we are always the source of the people in our household of course society is trying to blow all of these things either distort them uh, or change them around <clears throat> and and and, and um, demasculinize men um, of, of not being the source or the power source or whatever whatever they want to say I don't know um, but we have to have an even balance of being a source of help and also to um, find help um, and I think the if you're if you're tuned into your house you will always know that help is in your home I'm a strong believer of help is always in the home um, we always turn to um, to everybody else outside before we go into our home I feel a failure I'm gonna ask other people for help and it puts me at rock bottom. But I've had to do it. Normally because of finances, normally because of prevailing the prevailing winds at the time. And when I've helped, on one occasion it's been from my children. Um, I turn to my children to help for help. I don't turn to my wife for help. When my dad died and I was really quite falling apart. <clears throat> but through my own, own self-will or vanity or whatever label you want to put in it I held it together I gave the appearance of holding it together I found that 99% of the time 99.9% .9 of the time the answer is always in my house for help um, and I think it's one of the, the one of the biggest untapped resources for help. My wife held me. She carried me. Didn't have to ask, she was just there. And her help came sometimes in her arm. And my wife is not an emotional person, you've got to understand. My wife is not a outwardly loving person she doesn't show her love for me she doesn't run to greet me when i come home from work she doesn't do all of oh hello darling i love you and kisses and i call me home nah she ain't that woman at all <laughs> not at all but she loves me the fact that you know my wife could let me um spend um you know crazy amounts of time on a project and say you know what go for it it reminds me of that scene in Rocky too, when she was in the coma, <coughs> and um, 
Rocky didn't Rocky couldn't do that fight, the second fight, the rematch. Until she woke up out of that coma and she said, Win. And he went and 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 won. He went into training, he went crazy, harder than he ever did before. That's where the house, that's why I regard the house in. It's that win-win situation. You can go back in the house and recharge. Win, daddy. When your wife says, go for it. Now, you, you can't buy that sort of stuff. You can't buy that kind of help. When I was falling, she held me. She kept me up, she supported me. She lifted me till I was able to manage myself. Couldn't afford the car. Uh, I'd cycle from Brixton to Imperial Way, which is the old Croydon Airport, uh, to work. It's about 12 miles cycling. I'd have to clock in at half past six in the morning. 